guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a new series on my channel that I'm going to be calling Beauty on a Budget, where I'm going to be showing you everything that I love in the beauty world that is affordable because your girl, like probably a lot of other people, don't like spending a whole bunch of money on makeup. I just don't. Like I buy a lot of makeup, but I don't want to pay I don't want to pay for a high ticketed item if I can find a really affordable dupe. So, in this series, I'm just going to be basically showing you the affordable version of the beauty world. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of my holy grail beauty products that are under $10. Yes, you heard it here, folks. Under $10 hairs. So, if you want to know what those things are, then please keep on watching. But before we get on with the video, don't forget to subscribe and push your bell notifications to notify you whenever I upload a new video. And if you want to follow me on any other social medias, I'll have that floating somewhere on the screen as well as linked down below in the description box. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Sorry if my voice is a little raspy. I did just wake up from a nap. So, there's that. <laughs> I know. Okay, so I do have some several products. Now, some of these products are probably well known, um, but other but just in case some people are new to makeup and they don't know about it, I have it in this video. And then some things I feel like not a lot of people know about it. Um, but yeah, so the first one that I'm going to be starting off with is actually something from my last video where I did a favorites video, and that is the Morphe eyebrow pencil and it looks like that very thin it kind of looks like the uh, please don't mind my nails but it kind of looks like the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow whiz where it's rather thin to do your eyebrows so you can do some eyebrow strokes and make it look like you got real eyebrow hairs even though you don't and then you have this br brow brush bristle thing and just like I said it in the last video, this is five dollars. So I would highly recommend it. it. Works just works just as good as Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I've used that as well. But I don't want to pay twenty one dollars every couple of weeks. And even in the NYX one, it is ten dollars, and that's considered kind of like a drugstore. And that one's a little bit too expensive too. That one's $10. This one's $5 and this one lasts way longer. All right. The next thing that I'm going to show you is a face powder. Now this is a very, um, holy grail product for me. And I feel like a lot of people, it is rather well known, but in case you are new to the makeup world, this is the Maybelline fit me powder. Hello. And I use the shade light medium. Now this is about, I think this retails like f uh, less than $6. Now I would not buy it at Ulta. I would probably buy it at Target or Walmart because you do get it a lot cheaper at those stores than Ulta in my opinion. But you can buy it at Ulta. It's just, I feel like it might be, you might be paying a couple dollars more if you buy it at Ulta. Um, but this is so good like I feel like not enough people talk about this or rave about this this is very lightweight I feel like this might be a little bit I feel like it's like a hint thicker than the Laura Mercier but I do feel like it's very comparable for the finish on the face it's very smoothing very light you can still bake with it if you would like to and or if you don't want to bake with it and you just want to lightly powder your face, this will do that as well. And this is amazing. No scent whatsoever. And the one thing that I do love about this, than the Laura Mercier, yes, I said than, is that this has more shades. I th Laura Mercier at the moment probably, I think, only has three shades, which is isn't terrible but this has i think this probably has like 10 if i'm mistaken but they do have a lot so i feel like they a lot of people who if you can't find a powder shade for you from laura mercier or some higher end i would suggest this powder even amongst drugstores this I've tried other drugstore powders and this is still my favorite. I use it today. I used it yesterday. I use it literally every day of my life. 
this is amazing so if you haven't tried it yet go ahead and go to target or walmart and pick it up because you need to try it it's amazing on the skin and next thing that i'm going to talk about let's stay on the face shall we and it's a foundation now this is the wet and wild photo focus foundation um this one is in the dewy i i think they have two if i miss i'm not if i'm not mistaken i think they have two different finishes of foundation and the one that i love is the dewy one now i'm wearing it today it is one of my favorites really really good foundation less than ten dollars once again and it makes it so beautiful on the skin now i will say this is not my favorite foundation of all time i will say that but if you are on a budget and you want a foundation just for every day without breaking the bank this is a really good product to use it's one of my favorites it when you open now the thing that i do not like about it is that it is not a pump it's one of these spatula thingies so basically it's kind of unsanitary in a sense because you are basically taking the spatula well, I do it anyway. I take the spatula and I just dab it on my face and then, you know, use a brush and then a sponge or whatever. Um, but uh, in my opinion, it's a really good foundation for the price. I think it retails probably no more than six, seven dollars. And it looks amazing on the skin. I am wearing it today underneath the powder. So yeah, I really, really do enjoy this. I did get in the, sh the get in the shade. I did get the shade caramel. Now that's another unfortunate thing about foundations in the drugstore, as well as this foundation, is that there is not that much of a range. So um, I do have other drugstore foundations that do have a better range than this foundation, and that I do enjoy, but they do not go under ten dollars like i said but this does so if you are trying to stay on a budget but want to have a really good foundation and a really good base i would suggest the wet and wild photo focus foundation the next thing that i'm going to talk about for face is a beauty sponge now i know this is a beauty blender world okay well i feel like it's starting to gear away from the beauty blender world and people are finding like other alternatives for beauty blenders but i'm going to bring this blender into the mix this is from elf okay look at this now i had just I just use this so it is a little dirty and it is damp this oh my gosh this is my favorite sponge ever better than beauty blender better than ju what is that that juno co juno something 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 better than that and I think this is less than the Juno and Co. I might be wrong. And better than the, um, what is that other one called that people use that I use it a lot too. It's not Tarte. It's, um, it's, it's the five, six dollar one. Real Techniques. It's even better than the Real Techniques sponge. And better than, I will say it, the original Beauty Blender. Now, I have the original Beauty Blender. Okay, so I have the original Beauty Blender. I do use both of these only because I like that the Beauty Blender has a butt and this one kind of doesn't. That's the only downfall that I have about this sponge. Other than that, it's literally the perfect freaking sponge ever in this world. Okay, so this is the, now they are both used. I used both of them today. They are both damp, okay? I'm going to show you the difference in softness. I don't know if you can see, so this is the Beauty Blender, obviously, you can see that. Now this is the elf i don't know if you can see it really like this is so much softer than the beauty blender in my opinion and not only that this by the touch 
the beauty blender has a little bit of a rough texture um, it's not crazy rough but it is more rough than the elf the elf one is really really smooth really really soft and it's been like that since i bought it these both of these are not that old this elf one is way softer than the beauty blender one but i love this elf sponge oh my gosh i can't rave this enough you if you are going to get something out of this whole video get this sponge get this sponge and it will change your life i am telling you the best sponge in this world now this one i feel like not a lot of people talk about it and i feel like it is for a good reason because you can i think you can either only get it at certain walmart stores and on their own website so this is the black radiance true complexion contour palette i use the medium to dark shade i could use the light to medium but i do tend to go like to go a little darker with my contour so i got the medium to dark they have a light to medium medium to dark and a dark to deep i believe so um I will say that I ha this is literally one of my holy grail products and so it kind of looks a little busted all right I'm gonna just I'm gonna just keep it real with you guys I'm gonna tell you it looks a little busted all right but this is what the inside looks like so you have a dark contour a bronzer shade and this is a highlight shade and now this is the reason why I say I can use the light to medium um, is that the highlight shade is definitely way too dark for me in the medium to dark so I can't use it um, unfortunately but I just love as you can see I love these two shades right here I just love it I repurchased this about three times just for these two shades right here now this I is I think it retails for less than six dollars um, on the black radiance website I do not really have a Walmart near me I have to drive a ways away to get to Walmart and I, I, I'm not about to go do that so I just buy it online on their website so I would really recommend this it's not patchy it's so it's buildable it does pack a punch so I will use a light hand if I were you because it is a very pigmented powder all right contour powder and bronzer so I would just start off light and then build build it up it's so good I don't know why nobody really talks about it it's such a good bronzer palette all right next thing that I'm going to be talking about is the OG the YouTube OG concealer okay that I feel like a whole bunch of y'all probably forgot about probably I don't know and that is the I almost forgot what it was called <laughs> the LA girl pro concealer this thing is th like three dollars okay and this has so much product so blendable so creamy so amazing for three dollars okay like y'all are sleeping on this there's a reason why this concealer hit youtube like a tsunami all right this thing is amazing there are so many shades more shades probably than a whole bunch of your high-end concealer brands and it works amazing um i would say if you are someone who likes more of a natural look then i probably wouldn't recommend it because it's a pretty full coverage and thick concealer but if you are my full coverage queens that loves to have a full beat on the makeup game then you need this Especially if you're on a budget, you need this. Stop getting your $27 Tarte Shape Tape, all right? You got $3 concealer hold right here, all right? Um, the next concealer that I do want to bring to the game is a little bit more expensive than the LA Girl, but nonetheless, still under the $10 range, okay? And that is the e.l.f. 16-hour 
camo concealer. This also blue by storm. Hello. They have now the ones that has the black lid is the matte. And then there's one that has a white lid that is the hydrating one. Personally for me, because I have combination skin, I do like both. It kind of just depends on the day, depends on the mood. Recently, because I am wearing a lot of masks, because of, you know, I do wear the matte one because obviously the dewy one starts transferring a lot more on my mask than the matte one does. But again, if you have dry skin, you probably want to go with hydrating one not the matte one so it's personal preference in my opinion they are both amazing amazing quality really good shades um basically a dupe of the tarte shape tape thick another one of your thick concealers that if you don't like full coverage i probably the hydrating one you could probably lighten that one but again it is still a considered a full coverage concealer so if you don't really like that then probably stay away from it but nonetheless it's a really good product i would completely recommend this amazing so you got the la girl for three dollars and i think the elf one is probably like six or seven definitely still under the ten dollar range so i would highly recommend now we're going to the eye area now one that i'm going to talk about it did have it, it did get mentioned several times in the youtube beauty community but just in case y'all never heard of it i'm going to bring it out okay this is by the brand essence and it's the purple it's the lash princess sculpted volume mascara and it's the purple one i know they have different colors this one's the purple one this one retails this one retails for $3.99, I think. It's either $3.99 or $4.99. $4 Either way, under $10 for a very good mascara. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that I have really small eyelashes. I do have rather long eyelashes, I feel. I do get told that a lot. Right now, I'm wearing falsies, so don't think this is my real lashes. It's not these are falsies but i'm saying that i do i would like to say that i am blessed with longer eyelashes um but even for me i'm like when i first tried this i was like i'm sorry maybelline lash paradise who Too Faced better than sex mascara who oh hello like I've been sleeping on this. This is so good. Literally, you can buy this. I bought this at Fred Meyer. You can literally get it at Fred Meyer. You can get it at, um, I think you can get it at Target. I think I've seen Essence brand at Target. You can get it at Target, Fred Meyer, um, Ulta. Literally, $3.99, I believe. It's either $3.99, $4.99. I think it's $3.99, but either way, less than $5. Okay, it's so good highly highly recommend this mascara oh let me show you the bristles so this is what the bristle looks like it has like the little curvature happening over here so it hugs your lashes really well and lifts them up it definitely i feel like this is one of those lashes that is it i mean it says it in the name it's a volumizing it definitely gives that va va voom to your lashes in my opinion i do feel that this is a little bit of a thicker mascara so if you are not a fan of those like thicker mascaras then you might not like this but i mean if you're looking for a good mascara to make your lashes look like you're wearing falsies then look no further look no further all right i got two more products here so let's get it rolling okay the next thing that i'm going to show you is this um makeup revolution brow pomade the makeup revolution logo right here kind of wiped off because i had this for a while this is so good okay literally you don't even need the anastasia beverly hills brow pomade if you have this and this comes in like a little kit it comes with a little brush as well as this this will last you basically a day like a year like a freaking year okay i use this for such a like the logo's gone that should tell you enough how long i've had this okay 
this is so good very pigmented so creamy um i do yes i do use this and the morphe eyebrow pencil together match made in heaven all right i use this for the tail of my brow to get that shape and then i use the morphe to draw in the little individual hairs in the front so it gets that little faded look if you know what i mean okay i'm not the best person with brows but these had these two products have been making my brow game a lot better than it was in the in in the past let's 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 not talk about it all right the last thing that i'm going to be talking about is i don't know i think i might have mentioned this before in a video but if not i'm bringing it i'm gonna talk about it and that is the nyx professional makeup epic ink liner in black so this is what it looks like sorry mine's a little mine's a little crusty dusty but um we're real up in here we're we're real we're real people okay hence the beauty on a budget all right um this if you if you don't know how to do a wing liner look no further this liner will cut a bitch that's how sharp it is okay this is what it looks like makes it so easy has a point at the end and you're probably thinking mm, i don't like felt tip liners well lucky for you this ain't one this is not a felt tip liner but it's as easy as a felt tip liner without the drying out in five seconds part okay this is actually individual brushes brushes brush hairs made into a little point so it looks like a pen okay this is so good and because it's not a felt tip it doesn't dry out you can literally use this for months it's such a good good liner doesn't bleed uh doesn't it doesn't bleed and it stays on all day that is what i used for a wing liner today okay actually this is the wing liner the liner that i use literally 95 percent of my life is this right here you need this again another under ten dollar liner if you need to do that little wing or if you need to do that little inner corner flick hello um this is your liner such a good liner my favorite chef's kiss i can't say more about it it's just just so good let me let me show you i mean i have let me, let me show you the back of my hand it's a little ashy sorry but like look how black that is and look how easy that was like so thick not transparent literally full pigment in one swipe there's not no oh it'll look good once you build it up knobbish okay look at that i barely touched my skin and that is going nowhere okay literally how many seconds has it been since i put it on this thing is going nowhere no freaking where look at that look at that i put that on like 12 seconds ago i'm sorry i just spit all over you i'm sorry <laughs> i just put that on two seconds ago don't sleep on this liner girls don't you need this you need this in your life buy at least one of these products and you will not be disappointed okay don't go don't walk into sephora and be like i need that 50 dollar foundation i need that 20 dollar sponge i need that 25 dollar black liquid liner no you don't honey no you don't you want to save up you want 2021 to be your financial freedom goals then you better start with your makeup area because that's where you're spending all your money on so hello beauty on a budget will save your 2021 will literally save your year okay i'm telling you start with the makeup 
that's where that's where all of your bills rack up okay is your makeup products that you keep repurchasing get the afford get the affordable ones i'm telling you these products are amazing don't sleep on them now okay but anyways and that is it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below which one of these products was your favorite that you are going to be purchasing and trying out or if you have gotten them before what are your thoughts are they different from mine or are they your holy grails or if you know any other products that is even better that is under ten dollars leave that down below and help us out maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm completely wrong about these products maybe it'll change in like a couple weeks who knows but yeah thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already and i cannot wait to see you guys next time